Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and a couple of weeks ago I got up at O Dark 30 to fly all the way across the country to West Palm Beach for the Closets Convention. Uh, while I was there, I got a tour a really cool showroom, and I've got all of the pictures and videos of that at the end of this, as well as being at the, uh, the show and conference there. Saw a bunch of cool things at the show, and I'll just try to show you a few of them here, and I'll try to provide links to those things in the, uh, in the description. If you like this video, take a minute, like it, and subscribe. If you got any questions, go ahead and hit it in the comments and enjoy the video. JM Solutions. And uh, so they've got a cool little product here. They make the, for connecting top shelves, they make a little plastic uh, item here that for connecting top shelves. But is what he's done is he has tied that in in a package with a really slim uh, full extension drawer guide so that you can do a pullout in a shelf section, mount it to the bottom of the shelf and to the top of the, the shelf and then have a pullout for jewelry and stuff like that. And you, know, you can do hooks and stuff like that for jewelry. And then it's got a nice uh, semi-concealed drawer guide in it and the plastic cover on it. And I believe he's got these in about 16 colors. So he's got something that will match or look pretty good with it you've got. Now, if you do a lot of radius edge banding, the guys at NS SNX have got you taken care of. They've got this slick machine, and it's got a, a glue pot and the whole deal on it. On inside radiuses, they can uh, edge band up to a half inch. You just did this one here, it's at 90. Obviously, they don't recommend it because you get a little bit of discoloration, but you can do a nice tight on the outside as well. So it's got, it applies the glue over here and then you run it through on this side over here and it trims it all up and finishes it off. Okay, I'm here at the store wall booth and they've got some cool stuff now. We've done lots of slat wall in the past that is this style here that you have to screw in from the front. Kind of a pain, a lot of screws to put in. They've got a great one here that now they have. So what they have is this bracket. This bracket mounts to the wall and then your slat wall hangs onto it. So you can see it right here. And so your slat wall hangs onto it. You should probably put this on there every 16 inches. Really like that. I think it'll be a lot easier to install than putting lots of screws in there. And then they've got some good color options. A lot of the slat wall, like this brand, this style here, just a solid color, doesn't look good in the home. They've got these kind of, uh, let's say, trending wood grains options on it they have they have two levels of, of those so and it's not a whole lot more than this standard slap wall here the other thing that what really caught my eye we do a lot of these steady rack bike racks and these are really slick they fold down you can slide the bike in and then it pivots well normally this has to be mounted directly to the wall we ended up putting a melamine panel on the wall and then bolting this to it well, they've developed this bracket here that drops into the slat wall and then it's got bolts on it for your steady rack bike rack and then it locks they've got this system here that locks in place and holds it in place use a screwdriver to turn that in place and it locks everything in nice and tight and they have that set up on all of their hooks so i'm definitely going to be looking into this and possibly switching our slat wall to this style of product because i think it's a, a much better product uh, and mounting than what our, uh, that we're currently using. So we're at the Compex booth. Uh, if you haven't used these before, these are really slick. It's their electronic lock, goes on the inside, has a little hook here. One thing I like about these is they've got this, uh, so you put, the, you put that into the lock, peel the two-sided tape off of it, and then when you close it, it sticks in the exact place that you need to screw it on, and you remove the, the red guy and put your screws in. So. If you need locking, this thing's really cool. If you do that, you want to make sure that you get the extra cable that is a 9-volt cable that plugs into this. You're going to run that wire out the back of a cabinet so when their batteries go dead because they forgot to change it, that it's got a place for it. The other one that I found here that I really like, now, I do garage cabinets and people want to have locking doors on it, and I've struggled with that in the past. So they have, this is the back side of this this door is going to close it's a double door lock or a wardrobe lock so when it closes on the left here it pushes and locks the one on the right and locks the door in place now you still gotta you still have to lock the door at a different location on holding it closed but it locks it in place there so really cool stuff from compex you can get this through hayflow and your other uh, distributors that got it there 
Okay, at the closet show, one of the things that I didn't take a video that I was very impressed with was the uh, the uh, the MyCube safes. And I actually ordered one at the show. Today's Tuesday, and it came today. So I placed my order, I think, on Thursday or Friday, and they shipped it right away. I've got it. Uh, it comes very nicely shipped. Uh, they come in, they double box it. It's in, it's got four home corner protectors on the inside as well as the outside of the box. So it's not gonna get damaged. They did a really nice job of that. I liked it because it's got the, I really love the fingerprint. You don't have to remember a combination or anything like that. So it's got the fingerprint option. It comes, uh, the interior comes with a nice little felt bottom on it and a, and a mid shelf in there that is, that is uh, I believe that's removable. And then it comes with everything you need to install it. It's got screws, it's got a backup key and the batteries and everything come in a nice little pouch. So a very, very nice little one. Uh, we're gonna put this in our showroom and I think it's a great, a great add on uh, for our closet business. Another product that I took a look at and got a good demonstration on was the Closet Pro software. Now I've been designing with Cabinet Vision for uh, in the neighborhood of 20 years. I'm fairly good at it. I can do it rapidly and we, we use it for screen to machine processing. And so it's very integral to our thing. It is a little tough to teach new designers how to design and get good designs. And we actually use a third party software for our contracts and proposals. And so I was really impressed with one, the ease of design with the Closet Pro software, but it also has uh, a contractor proposal acceptance in it with a remote sign. So I don't need DocuSign. I don't need my third party uh, software that I have now for contracts as well as uh, credit card acceptance. Uh, not sure on the rates on that. We're still going back and forth on it and haven't moved forward completely with it yet, but I was very impressed with their presentation and their software. Finally, one of the great things, uh, opportunities we had was to visit the showroom and shop of Closet Lifestyles. Uh, this place was over the top and amazing. The closets, uh, entertainment centers, and some other uh, home fixtures there. Everything, uh, lots and lots of high gloss material, just beautiful work. Lots of lighting. Uh, you can see the lights everywhere. Uh, one of the cool things that they do there is uh, they build their own five-piece doors. Um, they built this system here uh, from stuff they learned on the internet, some linear guides and a plunge router, and they build beautiful five-piece doors. Uh, with it the, those things look great and then the other thing they do is they do a lot of miter folding so they take uh, parts and cut it out on the CNC and put a groove in the back of it and heat it up and fold it so that they can get this this size uh, on these products and it's seamless and it just looks amazing really really great work even their their basic closet systems just looked super nice the quality was really nice uh, really need to step up my game in their uh, their systems that the Drawers are color matched, so if you got high gloss on the outside, inside of the drawers are high gloss. You can see the, the thickness of the material in several locations. That's from their miter fold. I really like this one. This is a 24 inch deep cabinet, but you can see that they radius those shelves there. And then this spot here, this is kind of the highlight. This is his uh, home theater and entertainment room. He's got a couple of racing simulators in here, just amazing work with lighting and materials and everything like that. So really a privilege and opportunity to go there and visit Closet at Lifestyles, have them open up their showroom and their business to us and show us their great work. Uh, that's everything for Closets uh, 2023. I hope that you got something good out of that and enjoyed that. Thank you.